the guys. So we have the V jump scans that are actually out here for Dokkan and Legends. We'll go through Dokkan first and then we'll do Legends afterwards. Um, so for Dokkan, we pretty much already knew what was coming um, based off of the initial uh, spoiler leaks that were released um, a day ago. But uh, there's three things that they're talking about here. Um, but basically what we have here is there's part one of this announcement here, which is basically that uh, characters that you're able to recruit from, um, you know, the anniversary will be able to be uh, easy aid in an uh, Extreme Z area. And I assume all the characters that you're seeing on your screen right here will be able to be Extreme Z uh, Awakened. So obviously we have the LR Roshi, we have the TN and the Krillin. Or sorry, no, TN and Roshi here. Uh, Krillin and 18, and then it looks like the physical um, UI sign Goku will also be getting an easy A as well, which is to be expected. And then uh, number two is the big one. Um, I, I, a lot of people saw this yesterday and were like, okay, what, what, what is actually going on here? And now we actually have official, official, official confirmation that um, this is happening. Um, LR Goku and Frieza is receiving an easy A. Um, I'm going to literally tell you exactly what it says right here. So LR Goku and Frieza Final Form Angel um, are going to be getting an e are going to be getting an event where they will be able to be uh, easy aid. Um, this is the first character that's receiving an Extreme Z battle. That's a, uh, that's a summonable LR basically is what it says right here. So <laughs> you guys heard it here first. LR Goku and Frieza. Well, I, I guess you didn't hear it, hear it first technically, but. Um, it's confirmed, 100%. Um, and then there's going to be more collab co collab missions where you'll be able to get a new wallpaper. You know, Goku and Frieza versus Jiren. Um, so that's pretty much everything we have for Dokkan. So again, Extreme Z uh, Awakenings for all the free units from the anniversary. So LR Roshi, Krillin and 18, Tien and uh, Master Roshi, and then Physical UI Goku. An easy A for Goku and Frieza LR. Um, it doesn't say anything about any banners that are coming out. I assume they're going to have to release a banner alongside uh, Goku and Frieza for them to like feature it on the banner. Um, it also specifically says Extreme Z Battle here, which leads me to believe that this is probably not going to be an Extreme Z area. It's probably going to be a traditional Extreme Z Battle, like Easy A event. So that's probably what we're going to see, uh, be seeing for that. And then uh, more co-op missions um, to take down Jiren and get the wallpaper. That's pretty much all there is for Dokkan. Um, again, <laughs> ridiculousness for LR Goku and Frieza. Um, they didn't really show us anything that's going to be coming for Saiyan Day, which is going to be coming on the 18th of March, which should be the second Dokkan Fest after the end of the anniversary. Because what typically happens with the anniversary in Dokkan is we get the anniversary, and um, then we get a Dokkan Fest on like March 1st, or March 2nd, or one of those two days. So we'll get that Dokkan Fest, and then we'll get the following Dokkan Fest to Saiyan Day. Um, all right, so that's pretty much everything for Dokkan. Moving on to Legends. So we already know about Buhan. Uh, he was in the data download this week. So uh, he is coming in the form of a rising battle. He already is a purple unit. We already know his kit. We already went over that uh, his kit when it came out uh, yesterday. Um, I have a video going over that. He does have the barrier. He has the same exact super attack, the blue card, as the existing green one. So it's, you know, no really new animations to talk about. But he seems like an interesting card. He seems like he's going to be pretty good. And um, that's pretty much all we have for Buhan there. Now, here is where things get interesting. We have a transforming Demon King Piccolo from old to young. This is the, okay, what's funny about this is that this was the character that I asked for the most, that I wanted the most in the survey that just came out. I, in fact, I think the survey is probably still live. You can probably still answer the survey. Like, I, I listed like five characters. This guy was number one. This is the character I want the most. <laughs> Old Demon King Piccolo who transforms into young Demon King Piccolo. Um, in fact, a year ago, I actually posted this on Twitter earlier. I made a video going over a concept for an old Demon King Piccolo who transforms into young Demon King Piccolo that I would want to see them add. Obviously, at this point, it's outdated because the game has evolved a lot in a year. But some of the concepts from there, I wish they probably could adapt. But I don't know how well they would actually work now. But there's not really too much information they give... Um, he transforms from old to young, um, and then pretty much the only information we have here is this little fine print over here that's really hard to see. Um, uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. It's really difficult to see, just because the glare is really bad. 
Um, I think this says after transforming, whenever your enemy switches, you draw cards, and he's a character that's really adept at comboing. It's just really hard to see. Um, <laughs> and then up here, you know what? Let me see if I can pull up, pull this up in a different window, because I think there was more clear text in a different window here. Um, okay, yeah, actually, it is clear on this other window that I'm looking at right now. But basically, uh, yeah, after transforming, when you enter the battlefield, uh, when, oh, wait, yeah. When this character is on the battlefield and your enemy switches, you, you draw cards. And he's a, he's, he's a character that's, that's based around comboing for long periods of time. And uh, the, the green box above that, it says... He transforms upon fulfilling certain conditions. That's, that's pretty much all it says there. But then you can also see like the little wheel or whatever they have there. Let me pull back this other page. This wheel, this is power, energy, guard, technique, and then toughness up here. So he's going to be more of an offensive type of unit, which is fine. Um, I don't know exactly how he's going to work. The only thing we know about him is he's going to be an offensive attacker, attacking character. And he's going to be able to combo for long periods of time. Which is funny because that's pretty much already what the one that we have right now does. Uh, the, the yellow one, the Zenkai one, he already has card draw speed unconditionally. He gets key on switch in. So he's already able to combo for a long period of time. Um, the concept that I had for this guy back when I made my video a year ago was something where when once you get all seven Dragon Balls as the old Demon King Piccolo, then you can transform into the young Demon King Piccolo. And uh, what that would do is you would transform and uh, you would consume all Dragon Balls that you have. So you would have seven Dragon Balls. Instead of being able to Rising Rush, you would transform. So you have to choose between whether or not you wanted a Rising Rush or you wanted to transform. So if you transformed, you would transform into Young Demon King Piccolo, but the Dragon Balls would be consumed, so you wouldn't be able to Rising Rush. And then what that would do is it would lock the Rising Rush for the rest of the match. <laughs> for you and your ally. So, because think about what happened in the anime, right? Piccolo, you know, uh, wished to become young again. He transforms into Young Demon King Piccolo, and then he kills Shenron. <laughs> so, him killing Shenron means that, guess what? You can't use the Dragon Balls anymore. So, my idea is that Piccolo would uh, consume all the Dragon Balls, and then this would be like the most powerful, you know, character in the game or something, because you're giving up a rising rush to do this. And uh, then once he does that, he nullifies rising rush for the rest of the match. <laughs> because he kills Shenron. That's like the best way they could reenact, I guess, what happened during the anime, but that's my concept for DKP. Um, and then in terms of the actual team that he's on, so Kid Buu just came out for regen. He's a blue unit. So I don't think this team needs any more blue units because we also just got the Zenkai for 21. So blue, a regen once upon a time really, really lacked a blue unit, but now that they have Kid Buu and 21, they're fine. Yellow, they have two really good Zenkais. Green, they have one good Zenkai. I think this team could use a good purple unit. Um, I mean, we have Buhan, who is also coming out soon. I don't know how good he'll be. He seems fine. It's, it's really hard to tell until we actually use him. Um, red it all, is also a good option here. Actually, you know what? I think red is, is probably better than purple. I think if I was going to say what color I'd want him to be for regen specifically, I'd probably say red. The only really good red unit for this team, I guess, is Cell. Omega is okay. Um, Cell is the go-to red unit for this team, but other than him, there's not really any other like pretty good red units. So I guess red or purple is who I would say that they could use the most. And then if you want to go to Dragon Ball Saga, I mean, launch just came out, so I guess not red for this team. Purple, this team really needs really badly. Like they have no. The only purple they have is <laughs> Roshi, who's like a day one character. Actually, he's not day one, but he's close to day one. He's uh, very old. Um, so blue could also be decent, but this could go because actually pretty good and the Master Roshi is pretty good as well. Honestly, purple probably makes the most sense now that I think about it. Um, if they want to specifically make him as good as possible for a regen and Dragon Ball Saga. Uh, well, I mean, dr definitely not yellow. Whatever they do, please don't make him yellow. I mean, it makes no sense to make him yellow because we already have one that's yellow, but like we already have Demon King Piccolo and Kid Goku, both really pretty solid yellow units for Dragon Ball Saga. And then for regen, we also have him and then the LF Piccolo, Zenkai, for this regen team. And even this, like, this guy's going to get an EZ at some point. Or not EZ, sorry. A Zenkai at some point, right, for regen. The uh, Legends Road Piccolo. So, 
I don't think yellow is a good choice. Blue, we just went over why I don't think it's a good choice. And then green, I mean, Boo 21 just came out. Yamcha just came out for Dragon Ball Saga. So, I mean, to me, it makes the most sense for him to be purple. Um, I could see red, but I think purple is a better choice overall. So, you guys can let me know down below what you think about the <laughs> Demon King Piccolo coming out. Again, this guy is literally the most hyped character that could possibly come out for me. I'm going to say right now, I will be 14 starring this character. Um, we'll be doing 500 million showcases with him. I'm super excited for him to release. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you all in the next one.